So I had a stupid video idea. I used to do a bunch of challenges on this channel and I've been thinking about like different kinds of challenges that I could do. And one idea that's just been on my mind for a while that I could not get rid of is making a bracelet in gloves. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea or what I think is going to happen because I have no idea what is going to happen, but I thought we could try it. <laughs> if I could get used to making bracelets with like long nails, surely I can get used to making a bracelet in gloves, right? Anyway, I borrowed these massive gloves from my flatmate Thomas, who has huge hands because he's like two meters tall, and they are big gloves. So we're gonna try it. I cannot believe I'm doing this. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Suiting up. <laughs> my pinky got stuck. Also, these gloves fit me quite well with the nails. Nice. These are really thick. My dexterity is um, not great. I thought I could do this with string that I don't particularly care much about. And by that I mean string that I have plenty of. So today I'm using these three balls of yarn and I'm gonna be attempting to make a chevron, which shouldn't be too hard, right? So first let's cut the strings. I don't think this part is gonna be particularly difficult because what can really go wrong with it? Got my scissors here. Can I actually fit my fingers in there? Not comfortably, but I can. All right, let's measure out the string. I'm gonna need two oh, strings per color. I typically measure out like from the tip of my fingers to like the middle of my chest. That's how long I make my bracelet strings usually. And I'm not gonna be doing a loop. Should I do a loop? I feel like that would be just extra difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna do a loop, fine. Then double that. <laughs> Why am I making it more difficult for myself? I don't know. So double that to the center of my chest and then it like sticks, there's like velvety on this side and it like sticks to it. And then fold that and then, oh, I don't like the sound it makes. <laughs> Let's cut here. All right. So in that case, we're gonna do one string per color since I'm folding it. It sticks to me. <laughs> All right, going in with the pink. I didn't particularly like choose these colors because I thought they would look good together. I'm not expecting to uh, finish this bracelet. So I just picked three balls of yarn that I had closest to me. So these are not supposed to look good together. All right, two strings down. Let's make a third. The cutting part, I didn't expect to be too hard, but that was actually a little bit easier than I expected. Maybe this won't be so bad after all says I. <sighs> Time to do the overhand knot for this. Now, usually I kind of twist it over my fingers and then like... <laughs> Why did I do this? Oh my God. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. I'm gonna have to create like a bigger loop for myself. But there we go. I think I got it. I got it. All right, the knot is in place. Now I just need to tighten it in the correct spot. Like I try to make my loops to be relatively small, but the thumb on this thing is so big, <laughs> it's not gonna be small. It's fine. This is my loop. It's fine. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna we're gonna roll with it There's also like a piece of blue string sticking out of that loop Let me see if I can like isolate the blue string and pull on it to get that out. There we go. Oh, I actually did that oh My god, this is already such a disaster. All right now I need to tape this to my workspace I'm exhausted and I just started I'm gonna cut a little bit of extra string and then try to feed that through the loop to be able to tape that to my workspace. Hair getting in my face and it is uncomfortable to get it off. So I'm gonna fold that in half and then I'm gonna try and feed this through this. Okay, that wasn't that hard. I can't pinch it now though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now I can basically, it's like an extender, right? So I can tape this entire thing down onto my desk because the loop is usually too short to do that, so. Oh my god, I did not think about this part. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to do this? Uh. <laughs> do you know what, it's even already difficult to do this with my nails because I get like gel on my nails and that makes your nails thicker than they normally are. And it's already difficult to 
to grab a piece of tape when you've got like thick nails. Yeah, this is this is impossible. This is not gonna this is not gonna happen. What if I use my scissors? Oh, it's kind of working. I think I need to get it on both sides for it to. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at that. Ah! See, just need to think of it outside the box a little bit. Tape. <laughs> no, it's sticking to me. <laughs> All right, let's take this down. And I'm just gonna use a double piece, just to be safe. All right, this is now all taped up. Let's try and make this thing. All right, so I did have to switch the filming angle a little bit and you are now seeing me on my phone, which I've never actually filmed before on this phone. And I'm just putting my gloves on again because I had to switch everything up and put extra lights in and everything. I'm procrastinating this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> look how ridiculous my hands look in this frame. Oh my God. All right, I think let's just start by separating the colors. This is sticking to me. <laughs> this is so hard. I can't, I can't get these two separated. How do I, how do I get them separated? They won't separate. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. I think I'm gonna put these like super far away from each other. Keep them separate. <laughs> they don't need to mingle. All right, the, the pink is already there. And then let's get the other pink out. Okay, this is, I, I can, I can see how this will be annoying. Moving forward. <laughs> Ah, there we go, there we go. So separate your strings in the order you want to see them in your bracelet, right? Treating this like a tutorial. All right, my strings are in the correct order. Also check out my amazing sweatpants. They've got flowers on them. I shall attempt to make a forward knot. Let's do that together. Can... Oh my God. Is this, can I? <laughs> okay, I, I think I got it, I think I got it, I think I got it. There we go. There we go, I actually did that, look at that. This is how I usually make my forward knots. Like I, I have my thumb and my index finger kind of separating the string. And then I just use my index finger to, to, to do this. Except usually it's easier to do that. But look at that. I successfully made a forward knot while entirely messing up the string order that we, we had here. So, you know, half successful. Let's separate those blue strings again. <laughs> please, please, come on. Oh, I was nearly that, there we go. Do you know what, for this forward knot, I'm gonna try doing it like the exaggerated way that I typically teach where I like ask you to put that in your pinky and then sort of do this whole four shape because basically what's that that's doing is you know how like I stretch it out like this you're essentially still doing that four shape right but this way you've got like an extra finger helping you to do that so maybe I try this exaggerated way because that way I have like a nice sort of loop to put my finger in oh that's actually incredibly convenient there we go yeah that makes it that makes it a lot easier. I think I can do this. This is doable. Totally doable. I am I'm confident in myself now. Now to make a backward knot as well. Let's try that. All right, let's do the exaggerated way as well. Yeah, this, do you know what? That's actually super easy. Barely an inconvenience. I could do this all day. Like actually, the exaggerated way with which I like teach typically. I think it's like good for beginners because like you're understanding the motion quite well. That exaggerated way is working so much better than what I typically do. Um, look at that. That is going so fast. Separating the strings is probably still the most difficult part, but yeah, that's super easy. Look at that. Look, it's sticking to me. <laughs> but you know, that aside, super, uh, uh, super easy. <laughs> God, I did a full row, <laughs> yay. Look at me, I did a full row, look at that. All right, let's make another row. That's separated quite easily as well. 
Okay, how about I try not to do the exaggerated way? Oh, that was still quite successful. And, oh, oh, there we go. Look at me. This is not a pleasant way, mind you. I can tell you that. This, I don't recommend doing this. This is not a great way to do this. <laughs> oh my God, it's like, I can't get a grip on it now. This is taking me approximately um, 10 times longer than normally what I could do to finish that one. <laughs> approximately 10 times longer than, than it normally would because each individual knot is taking me ages to complete. But you know what? It's possible. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, <laughs> all right, I, I'm trying not to do the finger thing. Oh God, my left hand is more difficult. I can't get my thumb under this thing. There we go. There we go. Like there are some individual challenges here that is just like, how am I meant to do this again? Come on. I swear separating the strings is more difficult than actually making the knots. Oh, I nearly got it there. I nearly got it. There we go. And also getting my thumb underneath some of these strings is quite difficult. I can't say that this is, you know, the best bracelet that I've ever made, but I also can't say that it's the worst, you know? So I feel like there is um, a level of success here. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Just, okay, you know what? The last knot as well. I'm not making another row and it's just not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is two rows done. I am going to consider this challenge completed because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm getting quite hot after all of these lights. So time to take these off and let me demonstrate how I normally make bracelets just while we're here. Oh, this feels so freeing. First of all, it's normally much easier to separate the string, obviously, but normally, as I said, like this is how I would typically, also this is kind of an exaggerated way of doing it as well, but like this is how I would typically make a knot, right? Like I just kind of use two fingers to make that four shape over the string and then just quickly do that and then on the other side it's the same thing but obviously with you know opposite knots so I use the opposite hand some people don't switch their hands but I do like I also use two fingers to just oh wait, go away to just sort of tie it in there there we go look at that look at that and see how quickly <laughs> I'm making these knots in comparison to the other ones yeah yeah I feel so free <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Most definitely not gonna be doing that again because this was just stupid. <laughs> like it was fun, <laughs> but not doing this again. Surprisingly, it was easier than I expected, but at the same time harder than I expected. Like I thought I was gonna have more difficulty actually making the knots that I did, but I also thought that cutting the strings would be more difficult. And I also didn't think about the fact that like separating the strings would be as difficult as it was. So it was in some aspects harder and in some aspects more easy than I expected it to be. But <laughs> I had a lot of fun and I'm glad I proved to myself that I could do this if I needed to for whatever reason. I don't know in which scenario I would ever need to make a friendship bracelet in gloves, but good to know that I can <laughs> if I really needed to. Let me know if there are any other challenges that you want to see me do. I have an idea for another like really stupid one in which I try to make a friendship bracelet with no thumbs. Like I would tape my thumbs down <laughs> and make a bracelet with just my four fingers. Might be harder than this one, might be more easy, I don't know. I have no idea what to expect with that one, so that one might be coming at some point if I ever get enough courage to actually film that, but let me know if there's any other stupid challenge ideas that you want me to try. Doesn't have to do with hands, just what's on my mind currently. My book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets, which is a photo tutorial book for beginners, is out now worldwide. You can buy it anywhere typically buy books, but there is also a direct purchase link in the description if you want to use that. 
It makes for a great gift, especially to bring someone into this fun hobby. Before I go, I also want to give a shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for the support that you give to this channel. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. And if you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, which is usually educational videos and not stupid ones, <laughs> then the link to that is in the description. But in any case, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.